Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be cooking the classic smash burger. So why the smash burger? The smash burgers just give you a lot more flavour. And the reason they give you more flavour is due to the Maillard reaction, which is the cornerstone of any cooking and makes food taste fantastic. So if you're up for a bit of burger porn, I'll show you the smash burger. But just let me warn you, when you've had smash, there's no going back. So I've got 500 grams of ground beef, 20% uh, fat. So basically, I'm just gonna squash that up just a little bit, not too much. Uh, and then we're gonna break that into roughly six pieces. So that's six balls weighing roughly 86 grams. They don't need to be too tight uh, and also I haven't seasoned them yet because we'll season them when we actually put them on the plancher. So these are going to go and sit in the fridge now and we're going to go and fire up the Camado. Let's get the beast all fired up and then I can show you the setup. So my plancher has now got a temperature of 219C. Um, ideally for the burgers, we want it around about 250. But what we need to do first is get ourselves a bit of oil. So what we do next is we're going to toast the bread. I always suggest we toast the bread first because the planch is clean currently at the moment. See how quickly that actually toasts as well. So that's the other thing. You gotta keep your eye on this. So now I'm gonna put on the onions. That's basically half a pink onion I've got there that we can just fry down a touch. And I've also got a couple of slices of some back bacon. got be four meatballs there you don't need to give them enough space because they're going to flatten down quite a lot just get these squash down as much as possible should have put the gloves on ah it's off okay Hold them down for a few seconds. Get them all nice and flat. Season the one side of it with a bit of SPG. That's salt, garlic, and pepper. What we're trying to achieve here is to get the Maillard reaction going so that it all caramelizes on the other side. Now, the idea is if you can see here, around the edges 
it's all looking like it's starting to cook. But in the middle, you can clearly see that you've got all the fat bubbling. And that's near enough where we want to get that. So in, in a minute now, we're going to give that a turn. Let's just have a, have a little look, see where we are. Look at that. That's exactly where we want to be. Now what we're going to do straight away now, you get our cheese on straight away. Put the cheese straight on there, as quick as you can. What we're going to do now is... Create a bit of steam. What you're then going to do Okay, so we've got our bread ready While that's just finishing off now and the cheese is melting First of all Let's get a bit of sauce on the bread Get a bit of sauce. Nice bit of lettuce. Chopped up nice and fine. Let's get our burgers off. Rick. onto the bread Got our bacon nice bit of onion Jalapenos because we want it nice and spicy. Let's get our top on. And there you have it, the classic smash burger. Mmm. Oh yeah. You can't beat a smash burger. Oh, look at that.